Hey guys, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. I am cozied up in our family room. And if you missed my last update on our family room makeover, I will link that down in the description box below so you can check that out after this video. But I thought it'd be a nice cozy spot for me to sit and give you a quick Dollar Tree haul. I can't tell you how happy I am to actually start seeing spring in stores again. It's sort of like we're finally getting closer to being out of winter. It actually snowed here this morning, so we are still in the thick of winter here in the Midwest, but it's just nice to see that we are getting closer to warmer weather finally. So I really enjoy bringing you these Dollar Tree hauls because I know a lot of you like to craft along with me, so this way you get a preview of the supplies that I'm stocking up on now that are available in stores, hopefully for everybody, uh, before it gets to the point where I'm actually using these supplies. Many of the things I'm going to show you today are either spring items or they are going to be for spring projects coming up. So let's get right to showing you all the great things that I purchased from Dollar Tree. All right, so the first few items are glass items. I have this whole vision of what I want our spring decor to look like, and I really want it all to flow. So I feel like I'm gonna have to make most of it. So of course I went to Dollar Tree first to find what I could there before I start searching elsewhere for more expensive items. So the very first few items are glass, like I said, and this is a beautiful glass vase. I feel like Dollar Tree has a lot of beautiful glass items that you wouldn't necessarily be able to get at that price anywhere else. So this is a beautiful uh, diamond shaped cut glass vase. So I think this will be so pretty with spring coming up. Next is a similar item. It's a beautiful glass bowl and it's got some of the same sort of detail that the vase did. So this is gonna be another really pretty item for spring. Another glass item is just this plain glass clear plate that I have a project in mind for. Also a set of salt and pepper shakers that are also glass and they have a little bit of the ridges on them so they have a be beautiful detail to them and for another project that I have coming up. They also have their succulents out or they did anyway at my Dollar Tree luckily and they were fully stocked so I made sure to grab what I knew I would need. Um, of course, I may go back and grab some more, but they have these really modern looking planted succulents in these white vases, and they're just plastic and they're really lightweight, but sometimes all you need is just a little touch of greenery in your decor, but these are also for a project coming up, and I'm going to update them in a cute little way. And then one of the things Dollar Tree has that is such a great bargain are their succulent picks. I have gone to Hobby Lobby before and looked at their picks and they are about $5 minimum and you just really can't find such a great deal. So these are the two that I really, really loved. I'm into this light green, sort of a soft muted green color this year, more so than the like bright boxwood colors or the dark green moss color. So these for sure I grabbed, there was only two, so I grabbed the two that they had and I can't wait to use these in my spring decor. Also, this thermometer for outside, it's pretty big. I mean, it's probably over a foot tall and it's really lightweight, but I think there's a really cool way to use this and update it and create some really nice outside decor. Also some plastic flower pots. These are gray and there is a set of three in here. So these are not going to stay flower pots. I have a really great idea for these that I hope I can pull off. So make sure to subscribe so you can see what I end up turning these flower pots into. Also, I know that these have been around for years now, but I've never actually used one and I have a really cute idea for this. So again, make sure to subscribe so you see how I transform this galvanized uh, planter that says flowers and garden on the front. And the last thing that I grabbed from the actual spring section that's at Dollar Tree are these terracotta pots. They come in a set of two and they're sort of medium size. They're not real big. But they're going to be perfect for the project that I have in mind to use these for. Now outside of the spring section, they're also getting a lot of their organization baskets and bins and things like that out. And I saw they even have a really pretty um, gray set, um, which is kind of more modern versus the bright colors that they usually have. 
So this is a really pretty gray basket. It's pretty deep, so it would hold quite a bit, but I'm gonna update this and give it a new look too. Another thing at Dollar Tree that you just can't beat the price on are their picture frames. And I have, like I said, we've been updating the living room and I have a cute project in mind for using this picture frame with. This is a four by six size. It's just sort of simple, but it's got a little bit of detail to it and it's black, but it's definitely not going to stay black. So again, make sure to subscribe so you see what project I create using this picture frame. And last but not least, I have never seen these and this was the only one at my Dollar Tree and I just couldn't walk out of the store without it. It is a mat, a floor mat or a rug that says our nest on it already and it's kind of rough looking. It, it's, <laughs> it needs some work and some love, but uh, for a dollar, I thought this was a great bargain and with a little bit of updating, I think it could look really, really beautiful. And that is all for this Dollar Tree haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. You can also follow me over my social media, both on Facebook and on Instagram, where I like to show you new, new things that I find, updates, behind the scenes kind of thing, stuff you won't see here necessarily on YouTube. If I find any more great items, I will also be posting those on my Facebook and my Instagram page so you can find me there at The Daily DIYer. You can also click the links that I'll have in the description box below. I hope you will take a second to give this video a thumbs up for me. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the great projects that I'll be making with these items coming up in the future. Hit the bell as well so you get notified when my videos go live and I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.